All right, so um, I cut this lock apart. Um, I just took the rivets off and drilled them out the rest of the way, got the cylinder out, measured all the pins, and then promptly uh, lost the video. I guess I didn't get it off the camera, so we're going to pick up from uh, after I cut the key. All right, so uh, there's what our key looks like. And we'll uh, pin it back up here make sure it works. All right, well, turn, turn back, so that's a good sign here. All right, so it's pinned back up, and key works. So that's great. You know, I don't want to drop anything else out, but anyway, so key work. So um, hopefully my buddy's able to weld it back closed. If he can't, this will be the end of the video. Uh, if he can, then there'll be uh, a little bit more. So if it's not the end, I'll talk to everybody later. Uh, if not, ignore that. All right, and then here's the result of all that uh, welding and everything. Um, he actually put some uh, weld down in the center and then kind of ground it all into the laminated parts. It almost looks like one solid piece of metal now. And best part of all is it still works. You know, pops both ways like it's supposed to. And, um, you know, overall pretty happy with it. Um, so it's actually kind of a cool lock now. It's, you know, from just kind of a normal crappy master lock to a pretty neat one. And so, yeah, if you liked it, like the video, uh, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. And uh, until next time, we'll, uh, we'll talk to everybody later.